In this tutorial, I want to cover creating columns and rows with bricks in Bricklayer. So let's continue with the custom home page layout that we created in the previous tutorial. Let's say that instead of stacking these, we want the tagline to be to the left of the slider so that they share a row. Well, in Bricklayer, we can click this button down here, which, is allow which allows us to change the number of grid columns that this brick takes up within the layout. So let's change this to six columns. You can see that this brick resizes. And we'll change the slider to 10 columns. Now you can see they're aligned next to each other. Now, in a full width column like feature area, or in the content area, when we're in a full width blueprint, these should always add up to 16. If we're using it in this blueprint, the content area is 11 grid columns wide, and the sidebar is 4. There's one grid column in between as a spacer. So you always want to make sure that your grid columns add up to 16, 11, or 4, depending on which area you're in. So if we save our layout now and refresh, see that our tagline gets displayed within six columns and the slider gets displayed within 10 columns to the right of it. We could do the same thing, say we want Twitter to take up the majority of the column and have a small map next to it. You can see, by the way, if I select the wrong number of columns, they won't fit on the same row. Or if I select too few columns, they don't fill up the entire row. So we'll save this layout. Now you can see that Twitter takes up most of the page and the map is over to the side. It's important to note that not all bricks can be sized to any number of columns. For the most part, it's bricks that contain images within a grid. For example, the portfolio brick or the featured items brick. They can't just be resized to any number of columns. For example, if we change this to eight columns, which is half the page, you'll see that our portfolio layout is no longer how we want it to be. And in worst cases, it can look completely um, out of line. So in that case, those bricks will have a a, note, a notice here that says this brick is designed to be used with full width within its container. So whether it's in the content container or the feature area, you should make sure that they take up the full width. Also, when you're setting item grid columns, anything that's a fraction like thirds or half or quarters, that's intended to be used full width within its column, either a 16 grid area or an 11 grid area or 4 grid area. If you change this brick to being 8 grids and then put this as, as thirds, it's not going to create thirds from a third of an eighth of an 8 grid layout. So it needs to be a full width brick. The other thing you can do is add new rows. So, for example, if I click the new row button here, you see the slider drops down to the next line. Now, this will end any previous rows and begin a new one immediately before this brick. That does two things. It makes it ensures that this brick is on a new line. It also increases the space between these two bricks. So, I hope that gives you a better understanding of how columns and rows work with the bricklayer layouts.